Okay. I just found our game trail. Very well used. The bug spray is working. I'm up on a tree right now. I've already did about two miles hiking. Uh, I've been going in and out and trying to find the best place for this gifting site, right? And I'm still not sure if this is the spot. I'm on a game trail, but... So, so far, since I've been here, I've heard about four wood knocks, some kind of vocal. It almost sounds like wind way up high. Hello? Hello? Well, look at that. That's kind of interesting. The base of the, the trees are at the top. Interesting. Okay, we're just going to go a little ways back here. I'm still not sure if this is where we're going to do this. I did hear... Oh,
My backpack with my bear spray is at the truck. <laughs> I, I get, oh my goodness, you guys, I get, I start hearing things and think I. Wow, it is thick back here. Um, I think I see things and I hear things and I just quickly grab my camera and go right and I forget and I shouldn't I'm still not sure. Still not sure if we're going to have this. Uh, bowl back here in this spot. What am I seeing here? Wow. Rain. Rain. I'm just coming out of the trees too and it's raining. Uh, still a little bit of rain. Uh, I had to sit in my truck for a little bit, but I think I found the... I just heard something. I just heard something. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Or not. I think I found the spot because I'll show you why here in a second. I am getting something wet. <laughs> uh, the things we do, right? The things we do, okay. I see some very interesting. Oh! Baby Robins. This is what I see in here. Oh, sorry you guys. All of these. Those snaps, those breaks, they're every, oh, I say 40 feet, 40 feet from each other.
leave those little robins alone. And the babies are just, just, just beginning to fly. Uh, while I'm walking through the forest, <laughs> uh, while I'm walking through the trees, which I feel more at home in than I do in my own yard. I don't know why, but I could just, I could be living out here every day. Now, the, this whole area back in here is very unique. Very interesting. Yeah, I need those little robins. The there's a ravine that runs kind of kind of goes in the bend here and goes down. Kind of kind of goes in the bend here and goes down. Right in here somewhere. Right in there somewhere. We will uh, maybe up on the side or down, maybe somewhere where they still have cover, right? So they can get to that bowl. The whole thing for them is to stay hidden. But anyway, I was going to say, I, there's a couple things I want to touch bases with. And I think there's some new subscribers coming on board and I really appreciate you guys being here. You will learn if you stay with me. I do not agree and follow the narrative that these Sasquatch are have anything to do with the Nephilim or the fallen angels. I wouldn't be out here trying to connect with fallen angels or Nephilim if I felt or knew or hadn't had any um, feeling that they are evil. Right? Why, well, why do you want to go put yourself into that kind of scenario or situation um, if these things are evil? I know evil. I've, I've seen evil. I've, I sense evil. I know good and bad. I know right from wrong. I know good from evil. People can do evil things. Yes, bad things. And I'm sure there are some of these beings that do bad things, wrongful things. But that does not make them part of that group, right? One bad apple in the box doesn't make the whole box bad. Um, I had a, a subscriber seeing what I'm seeing, what I'm showing and sharing with you guys. And, uh, oh, it's not what they've seen, right? What's with the pointy chins? Uh, I've been 10 feet from one and I've seen their face. They don't have pointy chins. And I'm thinking whether it's due to the film or the lighting or leaves in front of them, branches in front of the faces and stuff. It's going to distort a little bit, but what I have seen here and around our property and the farm, uh, it patty, right? They look, patty is the, the perfect example of what we see in all of the locations here. Some of them are, have less hair. Uh, some of them, I think, are uh, larger in stature. They do have that thick nose, heavy brow, uh, full lips. That's what I see, right? And then, but in some of the images, because I'm zoomed in so far, I hear them, I see them, I zoom in over there. I mean, it's hard to get the, it's hard to get the detail, right? My, my point being is that a lot of times you have leaves in front of them and branches around them and in front of them and branches around them. And I mean, they blend in with, with, it, it blends into the to the image, right? It's the best we can do, unless they are right here, behind me, and you can see their face as good as you see mine right now. Are we gonna know for sure, right? Because I hear and feel these things, that's why I got my camera facing like I do, right? That's that's why I do it, because I sense them, I feel them, I hear them, and I I just heard a wood knock. See, uh, confirmation. That's that's why I do it because I sense them, I feel them, I hear them, and I, I just heard a wood knock, see? Uh, confirmation, they're with me, right? They're with me. When I'm speaking for them and about them, 
and about me and them, they know, right? It's pretty amazing. And it makes me feel like I'm on the right path, that I'm doing the right thing, and just keep doing what I'm doing, right? For the ones that are here and have been here for a, for a while now, and some of the ones that have been with me from the very beginning, I apologize for sounding like a broken record and repeating myself, but I, I just, I'm just doing that for the new subscribers, for the new ones that are coming on board. So you guys know, new subscribers, for the new ones that are coming on board, so you guys know what I am, who I am, what I'm about, and where my thoughts are and my beliefs are about these beings. I think, in our case, my family and myself, and we've seen them and been around them, there, there is no fear there. Uh, we learned, we learned that there was nothing to fear, but fear itself. Uh, now I gotta find a way out. I'm in a very, like a very big, kind of little ravine back in here, but I'm almost out here. All right, everybody. I thought maybe I would have time to actually set the uh, set the gifting bowl up, but it's raining right now. I've got rain falling. Oh my goodness! From my feet to my thighs, I'm wet. Uh, walking through that through the wet trees, right? But anyway, I will uh, leave it there. If I see anything interesting from this, from from the point I say goodbye to you in. And on my way home, I will turn the camera back on. I've been down here for like three hours already. Uh, I went down to the west side, Seven Creeks, and they did move the cows. Now, I, I think I mentioned to you guys about there's a cattle lease on the, on the west side of that road. And I've been there before, and I know the Bigfoot were there. But every time I thought I heard Bigfoot, I would hear a cow. And it was like, ah, uh, you know, it was too confusing. So I kind of avoid that side through the summer because of that cattle and we I just stayed to the east side of Seven Creeks and now this north end um, very exciting okay I will sign off there and I hope everybody is safe stay safe if you're doing what I'm doing keep your head on a swivel and we'll see you in the trees bye for now